Hello， 大家好，诶，我系 Sue Marie， and welcome to my little Cantonese corner。今日二零一九年十月二十九号星期二。Today it is Tuesday here in Hong Kong, October twenty ninth, two thousand nineteen. And hi, it's been a while, and I apologize. It's been a few weeks since I posted a video. This has been a super busy month. I had surgery earlier this month on my legs, and that's all going very well. So it was a good thing. And、um, also, I've been working on the lessons more for Cantolingo. So, those of you who are joining me over at Cantolingo.com, thank you so much. And we've got more to come in the lessons over there. But I thought I would take a moment、uh, this evening to do a quick video on chopsticks. And these are my chopsticks. But before I knew that chopsticks were an actual eating utensil in China and elsewhere. I thought chopsticks actually just referred to this. Chopsticks. <laughs> And yes, that is Tom Hanks in the wonderful movie Big. So if you haven't seen that movie, it's from like the late '80s. Then be sure after this video to find out where you can see it and watch that movie. It is a really wonderful, wonderful movie called Big. So back to these chopsticks. So chopsticks actually、uh, have been used, developed, invented in China, being used for thousands of years. And I've written it here on our little board.、Uh, there's chopsticks, my big face, and chopsticks in Cantonese is pronounced as. Fai, fai zi, fai zi. Now, where have you heard fai before? Right, the midtone fai. Remember, fai di, right? Fai di is quickly or fast, and that's exactly what the character is. Is the lower part is the same character for fast, fai, same pronunciation, everything. But because it's chopsticks, and chopsticks are usually made of bamboo, we've got the bamboo radical at the top there. The two little,、um, two little hat kind of looking like things on the top there for bamboo, and then you've got the z, the mid tone, mid rising z, not mid tone, just mid rising, right? Z, fai z. Now the z, actually this character here, it means son, but that's more of a written form. You won't say that in Cantonese if you're talking about your son, then that would be your zai, right? Zai, and wa zai. Would be my son, or Zai. So chopsticks meaning fast son. You can imagine that it sometimes is given as a little wedding trinket or wedding gift. Chopsticks to a married, newly married couple to wish them all the best in having a son quickly, but not to worry about the girls because although they might be wishing for a son quickly, I've written over here the girls aren't completely left out because the character for good combines the. No, which is girl, this side over here, with your z, which is son. So together that makes ho, the mid rising ho, and that means good. So it's good to have a girl and a boy. And normally, if you tell people that you have a son and a daughter, they'll immediately say, "Oh, that's so good!" And do you know that the character for good is a combination of a girl and a boy? Maybe a lot of you know how to use chopsticks already, but if you don't, the best way I've ever seen to describe how to start using them properly, you hold it as you would a pen. So a pen, if you're holding it properly, you're using that triangle with your thumb and your first finger and your second finger, right? Like that.、And、your other two fingers are just kind of useless there at the bottom, and you're holding it with these three. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take your other pen or your chopsticks if you have it, and just transfer. Well, you can either transfer it to the top there and slide it to the bottom, like I've just done, or alternatively, you can just slide the other one, slide the other one in there. So you're just holding the top pen or the top chopstick as if you are actually writing with a pen. This kind of reminds me of Thomas Jefferson because he had that he invented that machine, you know, with two pens, and then he only had to write with the one, and then the other one would automatically copy, copy his、uh, letter. Well, they weren't up and down; they were like side by side, but same concept, right? So you're actually writing with your top pen. That means that all of the the control and the motion is usually in the top, and the bottom one is just held there, right? So it's kind of like a it's a lever, 
or a lever if you're from the UK. It's easier probably to hold it closer to the bottom at first to start. And then the, the better you get at it, you can move it back because then, you know, yeah, like that, see? And then you can practice your karate kid, you know, and go catch, catch mosquitoes or catch flies with it. If you've got little ones born in the last maybe 10, 15 years, they've come out with these training chopsticks that have little plastic circles on them, as you can see. And those are, I guess they're good. When my kids were learning, we just had smaller chopsticks and they learned to use with those. But I suppose the training chopsticks, they set you up for a more proper way of holding them. Uh, I think among some of the older generation, you'll see different ways of actually holding chopsticks. There's of course the proper way, and then there's the way that my son holds them, which looks like this. I think as well that the earlier a child learns to write or to use chopsticks, the easier it is to pick up bad habits because they may not have the fine motor skills to hold a pen correctly or hold their chopsticks correctly. And I know this because my daughter still holds her pen kind of the incorrect way, uh, almost like a calligraphy brush. And that's absolutely uh, normal for a lot of people actually in Hong Kong. I notice a lot of people write like that. And I think it's either because they learn to write too early because they're already doing dictation by the time they're like three years old in kindergarten or maybe four. But um, at a very early age, they're asked to hold their pen and write Chinese characters in English, you know, and write the alphabet and English words actually. So that's one reason. And then they just get used to it. And then they just continue doing that with chopsticks and with their pen. But actually I have to say that my daughter holds her chopsticks correctly. It's just when she writes, she writes in a very Chinese kind of way. That's all I have for you today. I'm so happy to be back with you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, subscribe to my channel and I will see you again here on my little Cantonese corner. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to check out cantolingo.com. That's where I'm putting up um, more proper official lessons. And if you're keen to start lessons, please check it out and let me know. And I would love to have you join me over there.